Hey everyone, for this episode of Coins in History, we have a 1935 2000 race coin from Brazil. This coin is 50% silver. The obverse, which was designed by Walter R. Toledo, features a sword with the majority of the coin's information. This includes the lettering for the value, denomination, country name, and date. 2000 race, Brazil, 1935. The engraver's initials are also featured near the bottom, WT. The reverse, designed by Leopoldo Campos, commemorates Marshal Luis Alves de Lima, Duke of Caxias, nicknamed the Peacemaker and Iron Duke. He was instrumental in politician and military leader in Brazil's early history. Among his accomplishments were fighting for Brazil's independence from Portugal. After talking about the Duke of Caxias, we're going to fast forward back to the year of 1935. As usual, the year in question is, this time is another particularly eventful year, especially for Brazil. Just five years earlier, there had been a revolution in which the previous president, Washington Luiz, was overthrown, and Getulio Vargas became the new leader of Brazil. By 1935, Vargas was still in power. However, there was a growing far-left movement, which is a reaction to the emergence of and spread of fascism in Europe and elsewhere. Eventually, despite being declared illegal in 1927, the Brazilian Communist Party became the largest left-wing political movement in the country. Many in this, in this group were still dissatisfied with the political process ever since the revolution, and it came to the point in August that the group aimed to overthrow the current Vargas-led government and replace it with a communist gov government led by Luis Carlos Prestes. The revolution began with widespread strikes by the working class. Then on November 23rd, the first military uprising began in Natal. This was followed by another outbreak of violence in Recife, in which another then and then another in what was then the capital, Rio de Janeiro. Unfortunately for the communists, however, the movement failed to, s to spread beyond this point. Likewise, it seems that with the exception of a few regions, the working class seemed to support the President Vargas. After this, revolution was qu very quickly and harshly put down. For that, from that point on, communists would be the target of intense persecution. In addition, thousands would be arrested, including even the mayor of Rio de Janeiro, Pedro Ernesto Baptista. In the end, the revolution had the opposite effect intended because Vargas' power was only strengthened by Congress. He would continue to serve as president until the power, or until the point that he took the president the position of dictator in 1937, closing Congress altogether. This is Coins in History.